Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. Under your settings, we're going to see the very first option where it's going to say your iPad's name, maybe your name. And from there, just use iCloud in order to make that backup. Once you've done that, we can go ahead. If you have no more space on your iCloud, don't worry. Just hook it up to your computer and use iTunes in order to make that backup. Same goes if you're having any problems during this update. Just hook it up to your computer and you guys can update it through your computer using iTunes or if you guys have Mac using Finder. Anyways, let's just get started. On the bottom, we're gonna see general. Under general, the second option will say software update. Under software update, we should see this checking checking until we get this iPad OS 14.1. From here, let's just tap on download and install. Once we tap on download and install, it's gonna ask you for a passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, it's gonna start the downloading process. Now don't worry if it turns off for any reason during the download process, no big deal. And also don't worry if you don't see download, you just see install. That means it already downloaded the latest OS for your iPad and it's ready to be installed. That happens depending on your settings. So as mentioned, just make sure that your iPad does not turn off when it's installing. When it's downloading the update, it's no big deal. However, when it's installing, then yes, because then if any mistakes happen, turns off by accident, then you will have to restore it. And then that means deleting everything, loading everything back in since we made that backup. But hopefully you won't run into those problems as long as you guys have it hooked up some electricity. How long will this update take? Well, it really does depend on your internet speed for the download and then installation. It also depends on which device you have. However, in general, you're gonna look at maybe around five minutes to download the full update and then installation time can vary another five to 10 minutes. Anyways, right now we're just gonna wait for this. Once it has finally downloaded, we can just install. So we're just gonna hit on install, it's gonna verify, and then it's just gonna restart app logo in a loading bar. Like I mentioned, we will see an app logo in a loading bar. It's gonna happen once and it's gonna go pretty slow. And then once again, it's gonna just turn off black screen, another app logo, a loading bar. This time it's gonna go a lot faster. So by this point, you should be at that five to 10 minute mark. Once your update is done, you're just gonna see, maybe some of you may have a passcode, it's gonna ask you for that, and then you're all done. This is it, we can just check on our settings. We can go back in software updates and check that everything's good. So right now, it's up to date, we are fine. And that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.